Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. It's like in Warlord, the stash. Hello, everyone. You guys want positive Townstar content? Well, I'm here. Here we are. Townstar. Woo! Woo! Insert a... Woo! 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 That's right. Maybe another. Maybe another. Town star, baby. All right. Hope you're happy. We've got a fabric box competition coming up for you guys. Uh, it's going to be. Um, 4,500, top 4,500. We all know there's not 4,500 people playing, so basically don't stress out about it. Don't freak out about what spot you get. Try and make the best of it. Um, the builds I'm going to show you right now does have FTs in it. I refuse to call them NFTs because they're not NFTs. They are FTs. But uh, I will go ahead and show Dubstep Rod's build as well. Uh that has a non-NFT build. I'm also going to link his down below. Um, I am using a version of what I was shown. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. All right. So this build right here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So basically um, four nukes. So one here, one here, and then two more here. Now this also has gas production in it, which I do not have because I have the dragon right now. So uh, I kind of removed that from mine. Uh, this build also has more uh, feed bots, which I don't have. The thing is you can just replace the feed bot that you see on the map with an ATV. And all it is is going to cast a little bit of shade on your trees. But I can tell you right now, I have plenty of lumber. Um, if we look here, this build has one, two, three, four, five uh, lumber mills doing lumber and only three doing boxes. And I can tell you on mine, I actually have one, two, three, four doing wooden boxes. So I actually added this fourth one in. Um, it's saying about 108 fabric boxes an hour right now. So let's go ahead and assume that's fairly close. Uh, a little bit more wool yarn than cotton yarn and make about 300 uh, uniforms an hour. And if we go and look, a fabric box requires one wooden box, three uniforms, and one wax. So wax was holding me back. Um, basically, the fabric plants are casting uh, pollution, which I don't ever remember them doing. Uh, I don't know if they added that in for this uh, meta or, or what. But you do have to take that into consideration. So, you know, we use the nuclear power plants here so that we can get passive clean energy for the uh, pottery shops. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, these are casting uh, pollution. Now, if you don't have a, a 888 Orb of Hope, uh, school email, I'm not worried about that. Um, you don't have the 888 Orb of Hope or whatever this thing is. It's the new thing they gave out. Um, and you're worried about pollution. Basically, uh, wax was holding me back. And then once I got that kind of sorted the way I have it here, where I've got just five running and four of them are in the green timer, um, I, I began to run out of wooden boxes. So uh, that's why I added that fourth one in. So you see right here, this wooden box lumber mill does not actually uh, need any energy or water drums so if you actually go look at what it takes to make a wooden box it is just one lumber two wood and two energy <clears throat> so it, excuse me, it does need energy it doesn't need a water drum so since it's here next to the nuke it's got plenty of energy now notice I didn't have the two nukes here uh, I, I got rid of my nuke assembly plant you know my steel mill my mines I got rid of that before uh, I realized I needed two here uh, didn't really cause too much of an issue, but what I would what I would say is, you can um, essentially put all these guys up here, make them all your cotton, and if you notice back here on this side, I've got this silo with cotton, 
and then there's also the common cotton storage here. To be fair, I feel like the silos, silos more than enough, more than adequate, because we've only got one thing that would be going in the silo right now, which is cotton. So realistically, one, one silo should be plenty enough for you to have the cotton you need. I have a surplus of cotton now. It's not a problem. Um, I am producing energy with the nukes because... I need energy for these cotton yarn plants. So now, also of note, if I had nuclear plants here, I wouldn't need to have them on producing passive energy. So uh, my cotton and basically any, you, you could basically take this layout right here, make sure you put nukes here, and you can have, uh, you could have your um, cotton up here and have your wool down here. And that would free up some more space. Essentially what's going to happen is you're going to run into problems with your ceramic bowls. Because if you put your fabric plants anywhere near them, it's going to cause you an issue. That's why I have this here. If, again, if you have tri uh, the triple eight uh, Orba Hope thing, you're fine. Um, I've got ample feed. I'm not running out of feed at all, but I do have the feed mill. I mean, excuse me, I have the weed stand. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and look at dubstep rods layout for um, a non-NFT build and we'll kind of go over that real quick uh, again I'm going to link dubstep rods information down below but you basically can see this is no river uh, he does have a desert so he's using the, um, the passive crude oil from the oil seep here to help make gasoline um, realistically I mean this is a great looking build uh, notice over here we've got our uh, wax being made. We've got a nice little line of uh, wool here. They're all getting feed from the uh, meadow passively, or not passively, but you know, not a, not a not a not a big jump. He's got ATV here and here, which again, if all they're doing is collecting, you don't need that many. Versus if they're doing the feed mills, you need more. Um, Again, remember that your fabric plants are all going to be producing pollution. I do like what he did here with his uh, nuclear plant and combining the lumber mills. The lumber mills do not produce pollution versus the fabric plants that do. So you actually, he's got six right here producing uh, pottery. If you compare that to mine, I have six, but two of mine are actually in red timers. So I bet you he's, he, even though he's uh, having, they're having to go get the clay, I bet you he's producing just about as much as I am, if not more. So I'm probably going to take this somehow and, and modify that when I redo my build. Um, what you see before you is, uh, you know, what I've kind of worked on. But again, we're out of time. So um, I'm going to, again, shout out to Dubstep Rod, as always. Man's got, man's got, good, man's got good work. All right. Uh, one thing I would notice, it seems like we have maybe a little bit too much meadows. Um, I see a lot of them that are not being used, but I'd have to watch it in action. You know, if, 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 if it looks like it's good, then maybe you could, you know, arguably pull. Or I, I'm, I, What I'm getting at is maybe putting yourself a pathway down here so that the, uh, the, the loggers have a, a smoother path. Um, also, the cotton is not, the, the, the sheep do not cast shade. So you could put the cotton somewhere else, maybe. You know what I mean? You could maybe tuck it in this corner. You get, you get options. You got some room to play with. But overall, it looks great. Uh, shout out again to Dubset Rob. Great ideas. Always great ideas. And most importantly, is willing to share. Take the time to make videos to share with you guys. Um, other than that, we're making fabric boxes. I'm going to go ahead and do the pause now if you guys want to see uh, what my build looked like. So we're going to do this side. Pause here. And then we'll do this side. Pause here. Oh, stars. Wow. And we'll do this side. Pause here. And finally, this side. Pause here. All right. So it looks like I'm about 108 uh, fabric boxes per hour right now. So pretty cool. Uh, if we go ahead and look at... Uh, the servers real quick just what I mean by not being in a rush there's 1300 towns that's assuming there's 1300 people that's the, if you look at the numbers on the competition server 2100 towns just don't 
Um, don't stress yourself out. All right, get your spot, get your river if you can. This will sell a rather fast compared to some of the other builds, so you do want to try and be as close to the towns as you can. But it will not be impossible if you don't have a riverside. At least one riverside, Amazon might be something worth considering. So that's it. If you got any questions? You know where to find me, the Discord server link for my servers down below, as well as my Discord name, if that's how you'd like to get a hold of me. You need me. I love you. I'll be here. All right. I'm like a warlord. The stash. Bye bye. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to shout out my Patreons, Patreons from Patreon, and my new YouTube members as well. I got that going. Appreciate all of you. Thank you so very much. Your help has been crucial to keeping me alive and keep streaming and keep helping and hopefully entertaining you along the way. If anything I can do to make it more worth your while, please let me know down below. Also, you can find me on my Discord. I have my Discord server link down below, Patreon links down below, and then membership should be somewhere around here. Thank you all so very, very much. I really appreciate you. And I look forward to the future, and I hope you will come along for this journey with me. Thank you. Take care.